Uh, in this awesome video, I would like to share how to create Earth Rotation and Revolution. First, go to Insert, look for 3D models. This might be available only for version 2019 at the birth. And we look for Space. And we insert the Earth. This might take some time because the size is quite big, the file size is quite big. So Excel might need some time to insert. Completed. Then we just enlarge to the desired size. We can change the name so that it's easier for us to code. So we just change to Earth. Then we can proceed to the coding part. Go to the developer tab. Look for we share basic. But click on the current shape. As usual, start by giving a name. So this is Earth rotation and revolution. So we use Earth R. Then to rotate, we can use shape one dot shapes since it's a shape dot range so that we can call the shape array. And what is the name? Earth. Then we make use of the model 3D to rotate. So rotate it Y along the Y axis. So every time we just have to with the current, then we add or minus. So let's say we want the Earth to rotate anti-clockwise, then we use positive value. If we want the the earth to rotate in a fast manner then we use a big number then rotate in a sm slower manner then we use a small value so this number can be adjusted accordingly depends on our preference after the rotation then we should ask the shape to move along the axis which means that the revolution so we can use make use of what we already type here then base and we now use dot left so basically it's the movement a lot um, among the on the screen so move from the left to right right to left if we want to move from left to right then we use positive if we want to move from right to left then we use negative so it's equal to, we have to bear in mind that, let's say we have the earth here and this is the center of the screen and we want the earth to move from left to right after certain point back to the center, which means that right to left. So we have left to right is positive, then right to left is negative. Then we still have to move from right to left before we back to the center. So basically the plus minus sign should be positive, negative, negative, positive. And this is the shape which is similar to a cosine function. So we are going to use cos function in order to determine the plus minus size. So we will have the current one and then we add cos function. So what is the value that we should have? We will make use of increment method here. So we call a dummy, let's say i. Later on, we just have to add i is equal to i plus 1. Every time, we just have to increase 1 degree. But the problem here is the cost function using radian measure instead of degree. So which means that to increase one degree, we need to convert to radian measure. To convert to radian measure, which means that we have to times pi over 180 degree. So application dot worksheet function dot pi over 180 degree. If let's say we think that one degree is too slow, then we can use two degree for each movement. Okay, then this is the cost value that we should have. We have to bear in mind that if let's say we want to have constant speed, then we shouldn't use 
the value we want only the plus minus size because we know that for cost function the movement is not constant which means that sometimes move fast sometimes move slow then this one if let's say we don't want here we want to remove the value but we want to maintain the plus minus sign we can divide itself so cos i again if let's say we divide exactly the same thing which means that the plus minus sign will be offset as well so what we have to do we square and square root so square root the square number so which means that this part is always positive with exactly the same magnitude of the numerator so exactly the same value cancel each other we obtain one then the plus minus sign can be remain okay how fast we want the want the earth to move depends on the number so we want if let's say it's fast then we use a big number how many steps we want the earth to move okay so if let's say not too big not too small then we use a number that we prefer so this number can be adjusted accordingly after that to make it more realistic we should have zoom in and zoom out which means that when the earth is near to us should look bigger when the earth is far from us should look smaller so we will use she one dot shapes dot range again then we call array call what call the shape so earth again then this time we will ask for model 3d again then what we need is the dot camera function so this one will depends on their location which means that when the earth near to us then big far from us then small so which means that pretty depend on their location so we will use another dummy called j so we have to define what is j again so j we have to bear in mind that the camera position is basically the distance of the camera from the picture so let's say we want the distance to be far which means that this value will be big we want the distance to be small then this value will be small so what we have to do here is we will use j is equal to j plus we don't use a big value but we use a small value so that it won't increase or decrease too fast the range should from 1 to 10 shouldn't be more than that and then we have to bear in mind that in order to have the illustration that big small big small which means that sometimes we should plus sometimes we should minus then when should we plus and when should we minus depends on the cost function cost function as we can see 2 over 180 which means that one complete plus minus sign should be 90 degree for this case then we should make use of another dummy let's say is a then a is equal to a plus one so if a is greater than 90 which means that it's already completed 180 degree by right because we use two times divided by 180 so we should use 90 here this one depends on what number we over then b is equal to b times negative 1 as we can see we need another dummy here so we need to define what is b b is equal to 1 so after 90 degree or in other words after 180 degree then we times negative 1 then after another 180 degree so we times another negative 1 so negative negative positive positive negative negative so every time we just have to change in this manner so after 90 degree of course we need to reset 
A. Otherwise, we'll definitely all the time positive, negative, positive, negative. Alternately, then we don't want. We should we will change the plus minus sign only if completed every ninety degree, or in other words, one hundred eighty degree. So we change A back to zero. We start with if. Of course, we need to end with if. Then we can have times B here. So when B is positive, so which means that we should add. When we add a positive value, which means that the distance between the camera and the picture is far. Then when the B is negative, then it's close. So we will have the zoom in and zoom up effect. Next is we find a place to put the loop. So we want the thing to happen. Then what we have to do, we just have to do while simply keep a dummy plus say m. So m is equal to true. Okay, then we loop. Since every time will change, so if let's say the user interrupted and then continue again, then the movement will be strained, no longer correct. So every time we need to reset. So we have to reset to the original position and reset the size of the earth. So we have copy a dot model 3d dot reset model and then we want to also reset the position so to reset the position is basically using the left and top so if let's say we're not sure what is the value doesn't matter we just make use of the message box to check so message box and what we need to check is we want to check the left position and the top position so copy and then put left then we use emphasis space to split between the number so emphasis space emphasis and what we need next is the top position so we change this to top and then we just have to run before we run remember because this is loop non-stop so we have to use do event so simply add at any place that we want we have to bear in mind that the size of this picture is very big so we shouldn't use too much of do events otherwise we'll be very lucky so we have do events we just have to put in between any point that we like we can put at the beginning or at the end before the loop okay now we should check the position so that we can reset everything let's check the position so we just have to click for run and then we have 501 and 142.875 so let's say it is 501 for left and 143. We can take 143 for top. Then OK. So we will have, as we can see, it's rotating now. So we stopped. Now we should change to, we change the top and left. So we copy left should be equal to 501 and top should be equal to 143 142.875 but we use 143 then this one the message for can be deleted Okay, so basically this is the coding part. Before we start the looping part, we can add two events first to make sure that everything is being reset before we start. 
So let's try. So we will run. So we will reset first before the earth will rotate. So as we can see, rotate from the middle, then go away to the back. As we can see, the size is getting smaller and smaller. So after a certain point of time, from left to right, after a certain point of time, we'll back to right to left. So as we can see, the effect of rotation. And how if let's say we want to add sun at the middle of the earth? We can also try. We back to insert, look for the 3D models. Again, we look for the space. Now we should have the sun inset. So we can make it bigger. As we can see, the sun is in front of the earth. I will last say that when the earth rotate and should move in front of the sun, then we should add some codes. So we go back to we should be safe and then we add the code. So we have to check for the size of the earth to determine whether it should be in front of the sun or behind of the sun. So from here we should check that. So we first copy this. Then we make use of the if function if this is greater than 5. We can adjust accordingly to check whether it is supposed to be in front or behind. Since the number is from 1 to 10, we assume that. So we will take the middle point to decide whether it should be in front or behind. When the number is big means that it is small. So this one should be at the back. So we have sheet one dot range dot shapes again. Then dot range again. And we should have the shape. So again we need to call. So array then the earth dot that order. Then we have send to back. Then we should behind the sun. And then else we should bring this to front. dot the exact order and then move to front and then start with if we should end with if and now we should check the result now let's just check the coding part so we run every time we'll reset the position and the signs first before rotating so as we can see the signs of the earth is getting smaller and smaller when moving from front to the back part and then after a certain point of time then the earth will rotate from the right side and to move to the left side and then from front part of the of the sun of the sun and then move to the back part of the sun and then after a certain point of time then the earth will again move to the front part and then rotate from the right side to the left side as we can see then move back from left to right after a certain point of time and then again will getting bigger and bigger since it's already in front at the front part so again getting bigger and bigger as we can see here okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you